Now, sports with Brooke Kirchhofer. I've been waiting what seems like a very long time to say this, but SEC basketball is back after coming to a screeching halt during the conference tournament in Nashville nearly 10 months ago. Tonight at the PMAC, LSU men's hoops welcomes in the Texas A&M Aggies, both entering the night with a 5-1 and record. Our Go Nation's Jared Joseph is out at the PMAC right now with more on the Tigers' SEC opener. Jared? Yeah, Brooke, LSU head coach Will Wade had said before the season even started how deep this Tigers team would be. But just a few games into the schedule, and LSU is proving how right coach Wade is with a strong 10-man rotation. The Tigers have four players averaging double digits in scoring, including Cam Thomas and Trenton Watford, who are second and third in the SEC in points per game. But the Bayou Bengals haven't had all their pieces on the chessboard, which is actually where the team's depth kicks in. LSU has battled through injuries, canceled games, and COVID-19 cases, but are on a four-game win streak. And tonight will be the first game all season where the Tigers will have their entire roster ready to play. But the adversity LSU has already powered through will help the Tigers as the season progresses. I do think it's, you know, there's some positives. You know, we didn't play without our point guard. We got gains and, 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 and Cook, valuable minutes at point guard. We've played a game without Watford, so we we got some other guys, some experience. You know, I think, I think we've been able to, 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 to plug and, and, and get some guys some experience, which will hopefully play dividends for us as, as we got to shuffle, uh, shuffle the line up and shuffle guys in and out all year. Yeah, well, hopefully the Tigers won't have to do any shuffling at all tonight. Thanks they have a full-powered LSU team hitting the court for the first time tonight against Texas 